Well, she died seven months ago from yesterday. Um, I was really close to my mom, and um, I really miss her, yeah. I wish our dad could have told us without crying, because when he was crying, like, it just, like, it was final. Like, it hurt a lot. I have a hard time thinking about um, if and when I get married because I'm not going to have my dad there to walk me down the aisle. And that's a hard thought. I just wish that life wouldn't be so complicated that you couldn't even grieve when you wanted to. Judy's house is a place where grieving children and their families come to get support when they've had someone die. Everybody up. Ready? Ready? Go! Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. God. One, two, three, spaghetti. Oh, God. We see children here, like I said, from 3 to 18 who've had all different kinds of death experiences. So the majority, about 70% of our kids come who had a parent loss. That we, We're teaching them ways that they can cope with the grief, teaching them ways that they can express it in all kinds of ways. Oh, she needs a crown too? Yeah. We have everything um, in the basement from, you know, lots of art, lots of drama, we have sand trays, we have music, all these different ways to, to express themselves. We do a lot of check-ins here at Judy's house so where we can check in with one another and uh, share the stories that we're going through. My name is Brayden. I'm 10 years old. I'm in fifth grade. And my dad died. Oh, and dad's yeah. and, <laughs> and my dad died. And my favorite thing to do is, is go to the mall with my as long as the kids are coming here and they're talking about it or they're expressing it, maybe not even talking, but non-verbally dealing with the feelings, then, then they're going to start feeling better. And this is for my dad because he died because he didn't eat much. So I want to give him something he really loves and this is it. I remember learning from his death that I need to not take what I have for granted and um, not say things that I don't mean and tell people I love them when I mean it. I remember that he hated this game. Like, I'm not even kidding you. He hated this game. So I'm kind of relieved that it happened really quick and he didn't like suffer. So. I'm angry with myself for my friend who died just because I feel like I was the cause of it. In our groups here where they can talk about those feelings and see that how they feel is how someone else feels too is just, is, there's lots of comfort in that. This horrible thing has happened to them but they're not broken children. They're, you know, they don't need to be fixed. They just need to talk about it or to, to express it one way or the other and, and there's hope and grief. Find something to believe in. I mean the whole purpose of Judy's house is to know that they're not alone. You can do lots of stuff here, and it's great to be here. 